Buen día a todos, ¿cómo están? Qué gusto, qué gusto estar aquí con ustedes. Tengo aquí a, a un equipo increíble para todos los mercados latinos de diferentes países. Tenemos gente desde Chile hasta Guatemala, Colombia, Costa Rica, eh, Estados Unidos y muchas personas que están aquí para apoyarles en este super lanzamiento de Aroma Touch. Eh, César, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días. Bueno, muy buenos días, Efraín. Eh, gracias, de verdad. Muy contentos y muy emocionados por lo que tenemos hoy para toda la comunidad en la región de América Latina y aquí mismo en los Estados Unidos. Sí, y eh, yo estoy súper emocionado, César, porque sé que, bueno, primeramente, porque tenemos aquí al doctor Gil uh, con nosotros, que nos está acompañando en vivo y en directo, y en verdad que eso es algo increíble, poder tenerlo exclusivamente para, para este mercado latino. Y vemos ahí toda la gente que está entrando, que nos está saludando desde Perú, uh, desde Punta Cana, México, Costa Rica, desde Arizona, España. ¡Wow! Desde España tenemos gente. Eh, Guanajuato, están pasando los nombres rapidísimos, ¿no? O sea, qué, qué emoción. ¿Cómo te parece todo esto, César? No, es increíble, es increíble. Definitivamente tenemos una comunidad eh, en América Latina y en todos los países en donde se habla español espectacular, que ama, adora, doterra. Y bueno, no esperábamos menos porque hoy tenemos un invitado muy especial, uno de nuestros fundadores, una persona que queremos mucho, una persona que respetamos y, y de la cual hemos aprendido muchísimo, el doctor David Hill. Sí, no, y, y este, nada más para que sepan, tenemos más de 7,400 personas que se han inscrito a este webinar. Así que es un lanzamiento muy especial y, y bueno, yo creo, que, yo creo que está bien que ya empecemos con todo este, este tema tan interesante. Para, para los que no me conocen, soy Efraín Villalobos y soy el vicepresidente de Mercados Latinos. Uh, hemos estado en este mes, hemos estado de gira para hacer los lanzamientos de, del año. Uh, César tuvo la oportunidad de estar en, en Colombia y en Ecuador. Yo tuve la oportunidad de estar en, en Estados Unidos, en Guatemala, Costa Rica, Chile. Y ayer estuve en México y estamos, eh, la verdad, muy contentos porque creo que el 2023 va a ser un año excelente. Y una de las cosas que nos va a ayudar a que sea un año excelente va a ser este lanzamiento en línea de Aroma Touch, un programa único de doTERRA, un programa que el doctor Gil creó para todos ustedes y nos va a contar más de esto, pero para hacer todo esto tenemos, pues también estamos de lujo porque está con nosotros el doctor César Rey, que va a estar uh, entrevistando a, a doctor Gil, creo que todo el mundo conoce a César, pero para lo, la, los que no lo conozcan es el doctor César Rey es el director senior para todos los mercados latinos en la área de educación. Así que, bueno, por ahora, este, espero que todos estén muy contentos. Les deseamos un feliz año. Esperamos que hayan tenido eh, un, una Navidad excelente y que hayan comenzado con todo este año porque va a ser un año extraordinario en doTERRA y les, les damos este, todos los mejores deseos para ustedes y sus familias para que realmente puedan lograr todo lo que, lo, lo que se han forjado este año. Así que con eso dejo a nuestro querido doctor César Rey. Adelante, César. Ok, I'm going to start switching to, to, to English to be able to speak yeah, with thank, our, our... Thank you, César. That's great. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, yeah, I, got a what, I got a little bit of what was said. And what I heard is how excellent you actually are, which we all know, and I know that too, and I'm appreciative of that. But I think, yeah, I would be happy if we could talk in English now. That'd be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that happens when you get together with Latinos. I mean, <laughs> we are all, you know. Okay, no, Dr. Hill, thank you so very much for accepting this invitation to come over in this webinar and, and share with all our community in the Latin American countries and, and around the world, wherever we have people speaking, Sp speaking Spanish. So I know they are connected. I know there are people in Europe 
uh, in Spain and in Portugal, uh, people in, in Holland. I mean, I have been receiving a lot of messages, people very grateful for, for this opportunity, for the opportunity to have access to the Aroma Touch te technique training online. So, so I got some few questions. I know you answer most of these questions during the course, during the training. Uh, but uh, however, I know there is a lot of people that are getting connected and they have no idea about what is Aroma Touch. And that is specifically the first question I have for you. What is Aroma Touch? How would you define it? Well, thank you. Can I just defer that question for the moment? Oh, bueno, más bien, más bien, no te lo voy a repetir, me la voy a saltar. Eh, de hecho, How many people are actually on this webinar and from all the different parts of the world that they're coming from. I, I, to me, that's not insignificant. And so if it's okay, before we start all of our conversation about aroma touch, which you know I'm excited about, I've been passionate about that for decades now, especially since I, well, can't say decades, but well, no, it's been about 14 years now. So that's not decades, but more than a decade. I, I am excited about it, not just because I created it, but because of the value and the benefit. But that's what I want to talk to for just a minute, if I can. And then we'll get to your first question, if that's all right. But to me, it's not insignificant that there's people all around the world who are involved in this communication today. One, I think it speaks to the efforts of yourself and all the wonderful people that work with us in these areas in trying to share information and make sure that people have what they need. So thank you to you and all of our staff everywhere. But I also think it speaks to doTERRA at large as a whole. We, we are like-minded in so many ways. One of the things that I've recognized, and I bet you have too, and probably most people will recognize as I've gone to many different places in the world, we're really just largely the same. We want the same things. We want to feel like we're a part of something. We want to feel like we are making a difference in the world. We, we want to know that we're known. We want to know that we're cared for. And I've loved doTERRA because I think it's this great vehicle to give people experience in all of those areas and even more. So can I lend my, my, my well thoughts and my appreciation for everybody, lend that to yours for everyone that who has joined us and is with us today. And then let's talk about the aroma touch. So <laughs> what was your question again, Cesar? What is it that you <laughs> wanted to know? <laughs> what is aroma touch and how will you define it? You know, you would think that I would just have this really fast, very candid answer that says, oh, well, the aroma touch is this. And in some ways I do. I mean, the process of creating the aroma touch, I mean, the basis for that was I had this thought is as I would travel and as I would come home, my wife was always very quick to want to help and assist me in a number of different ways. And she was always asking, can I put oils on you? And it just really occurred to me one day that along with people asking me, what do I do for and how would I use this? It just occurred to me one day that why wouldn't we want to have a method of application where we could use the oils with confidence, with great safety, with outcomes and benefits that we could rely on. And it could be systematic enough and simple enough that regardless of your experience. I mean, the value of essential oils is meant for everybody. And so there's the full gamut of experience and knowledge. Sometimes, and you have this opportunity too, I'm talking to a scientist who's maybe very highly trained in specific areas of chemistry or physiology and a biology or a number of different things. And I like that it can withstand scrutiny in those environments and the value of essential oils holds true. But then other times I'm talking with somebody who doesn't know anything about essential oils, is just really only had the experience of somebody sharing an oil with them, but has recognized that I want to have that value. And more importantly, I want to be able to provide that for people that I care about. And so the Aroma Touch for me fits into this category 
And it's why I created the Aroma Touch. So the description of the Aroma Touch for me is, it's just simply the easiest, most consistent, the safest way that regardless of what the individual is experiencing, there's something I can do to be helpful. You know, I, I'm never gonna pretend to say that the Aroma Touch will make your wildest dreams come true. <laughs> if you just do the aroma touch, you're going to grow all your hair back. You're going to get taller. You're going to be slender. Your wildest dreams will come true in every area of your life. No, it's focused into one specific things. When we give of ourselves and help other people, we are in fact helping ourselves as well. And the aroma touch is a great vehicle for them. It's a way that we can get outside of ourselves in a meaningful and a powerful way that regardless of our own inabilities and sometimes regardless of our own strengths, we're able to help and connect with them in a way that's magnified through the usage of the essential oils. So that's probably not an easy definition, but it's the best definition in my mind. It's why we invite everybody to participate in the Aroma Touch because of the experience that it creates for them. That's perfect. That's perfect. And that's how I also understand Aroma Touch is for. I mean, it's, it's the way how to create a very good experience with essential oils and, uh, and, uh, and, and to have, like you said, the safest way how to apply uh, uh, Aroma Touch. And I do understand when I did my training uh, back on the time, uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was very clear from you telling us that aroma touch is an oil application technique. It's not a massage. It's not a yeah. yeah. It's a systematic application of the essential oils. Okay, so you you're probably not prepared for this, but this is a one for one exchange. So now I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I wasn't so expecting this. You you know the aroma touch, and you've experienced the aroma touch. What? how would you define the aroma touch? Uh, I would say that's, that's the best way to get on board with the essential oils. When you have no experience with you, doesn't know anything about the essential oils. I think aroma touch, like you define, it's a vehicle how we can get on board people with the essential oils. It's a, it's a very good experience that you can offer to people to be able to, to have the benefits and to feel the essential oils in, in their bodies. Uh, it is amazing how you change before and after the, the application of the essential oils. And, and that gave me to the other questions that I have. I mean, there are eight different essential oils at the Aroma Touch Kit. What made you choose those specific oils? <laughs> you know, Cesar, you're really kind of getting down into the heart of everything here. Right? <laughs> I have to. I have be to because girl. those are most of the people's questions. So, so right. I want to give them a, a, what they want. Well, let me let me tell you what my experience was. So, you as a physician, Sester, recognize this as well, and and even if you're not a physician, you would recognize this. I I as I really started into this process. One of the other things that I recognized was that all of my patients basically were the same. You know, and now in the context of essential oils, when I'm talking to people, there was root causes as to why they were experiencing the same things. So the first thing I actually did was not select the essential oils. Instead, what I did was I thought, where's the commonality? What is it that we're trying to approach? What do I want to solve with the aroma touch? And that's where the systemic constants came from. So all of my patients, for example, every patient that came to see me, they may come to me for this is my symptom, but their problem was, for example, they had chronic stress or they had chronic inflammation or they had immune compromise. And then the combination of all of those things, and it's why I settled into that fourth systemic constant of homeostasis was our we really are in this because of all the stressors and things that we have in our life We're we're in more of this sympathetic state. We're in this fight and flight response rather continuously. And 
we wanted also, as I was going through this, I wanted to be able to sure, be sure that I could create an experience where it was balancing to the body. So we had those four systemic constants then of stress. And now we see that magnified more than what we ever have at any time in my lifetime. We see stress more magnified now. So we had stress, we have inflammation, which you and I know is the root cause of nearly all problems and disease. It's an inflammatory response in the body. And then compromised immunity, ironically enough, undue amounts of stress and inflammation also then long-term create challenges within our ability to protect ourselves properly through immunity. And then this imbalance. And so once I had that established, then it became really easy for me. I, I, I want you to imagine I actually got all the oils that we had at the time. And I looked at all of them and I divided them into categories. Okay, these are the oils that I think would be really good for this particular constant. And these oils would be good for helping the body have this more balanced inflammatory response. And these are the oils that would be good for immune support. And these are the oils that are kind of balancing to the body and invigorating. And I divided them into those categories. And I, you know, there's a reason why it's called the aroma touch. And so part of the value that we get from the oils in this experience of the aroma touch is the aroma itself. And those who have been involved in the aroma touch know that there's this aroma that builds throughout the process of the aroma touch, you know, beginning with balanced essential oil and then going to lavender essential oil. And as we work through each one of those systematically, the aroma profile becomes more pronounced, but also is extremely well, excuse me, extremely well balanced. And so I'd like to tell you there was some big scientific thing. The science side of selecting those oils was what's the chemistry? Will this chemistry be conducive for what it is that we're trying to create with that step in the aroma touch? The other part of the science was, does it blend well with the other oils? Like I, in my mind, taking oregano, and using it in connection with lavender is probably not a really great combination. There's, it's not that it's going to be antagonistic, but aromatically, which is a part of that experience of the aroma touch, it's just not going to work congruently. So I narrowed it down to those eight oils in particular, and then began developing the technique process from there. But I, one of my favorite things about the aroma touch is that aroma profile. Sorry, you're getting a long answer, Cesar, but you asked the no, question. That's fine. That's fine. I, I guess here's something I would, want, I would want people to understand because I get this question all the time, but couldn't I just add frankincense or couldn't I add that? We've done a lot of experiments over time in, with the essential oils, adding other essential oils. Uh, we've done some cl a clinical trial with the Aroma Touch. And one of the things that we've learned over time as we've looked at this from more critical eyes, those are the right eight oils. So while in our mind, we might think to ourselves, well, gee, frankincense would just be good. I'll just add a little bit of frankincense here. It's not that you're gonna destroy the aroma touch. You're just not gonna have the same outcome. Trust the oils that have been selected for their benefits individually and collectively the aroma profile that develops throughout the process is equally significant. We've shown that through many different ways and studies, but also look at the value of the essential oils for their specific characteristics in each one of those areas. And I selected oils that their chemistry and the congruency of that from one step to another to another makes it the experience that it is. And I, I will promise people that if they change those oils out, they're going to be, I wouldn't say disappointed, but they are not going to receive the same experience that you just described about why you love the aroma touch. Some of the aroma touch is just unexplainable, right? It, it wasn't that it was misguided and I was just guessing. No, I applied what I knew about chemistry and human physiology. And I went through all of those processes. It's why it took so long to develop. 
But in the end, I ended with something that was very simple and easy to do, yet very powerful. And when something might seem like it's minutia in the aroma touch, like which oil I'm using, it's really not. The whole process works the way it does because it's integrated and designed to work with the movements, to work with the application, to work with those specific essential oils. And that's why I say it's an essential oil technique. It's not a massage. The th movements that we do in the Aroma Touch are about accentuating the value of the essential oils, the delivery of the essential oils, the absorption and utilization of the essential oils. And so it really is about the oils and that is just the perfect combination in my mind. And now over what's been 14 years, 13, 14 years of doing the Aroma Touch, I think people would agree with that, that this is the exact right oils to be using. So I got on kind of my, my stool there, but I, I mean, these are things that I, I get passionate about because when we change them and then people come to me and say, I did it, but it didn't really work. But in reality, you didn't do it. Even, even changing the movements, it's just easier if I do it this way. Yeah, maybe, but you're diminishing outcome. You're diminishing benefit, which is what I love about what we've done now with this online training. It's easy to stay focused. It's easy to learn. And you don't have to second guess, was it this way or was it this way? It's no, it's this is exactly how it's to be done. And as simplistic as it is, it's powerful and it really makes a difference for people. And that answer another question that I that I was about to ask you. It was like how important is just to keep the technique exactly how it's trained during the course, because yeah. it's gonna it's gonna assure the result at the end, basically. Yeah, well, this is one of the big challenges that we had is we had as I had developed the aroma touch. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And then as we began teaching and sharing the aroma touch, you know, there's this migration always that people have their own style, what's most comfortable for them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I, I understand and know that people are going to personalize how they use the aroma touch. But if they'll master, boy, sensor, I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I need to take a drink. You've worn me out already. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. No, that's what we want. That's what we want. I mean, it's, it's amazing how you explain everything. I mean, it's it's the passion that you have for the program and everything that you have been delivering during, during that's the last 15 years with the Aroma Touch technique. I think well, that's yeah. one of the most, most of the people love about it. Well, and we want that consistency. Right, so there is a right way to do the palm slide. There's a right way to do the five zone activation. There's a right way to apply the essential oils. And some of it is, for example, with the palm slide, it's about enticing better absorption and utilization of the blood of the oil itself. It's about blood flow. The touch, the pressure that we use is something that I call neurological cast. It's about exciting tissues all through the body, not just in one localized area. The reason why we don't do deep massage and those things with the aroma touch is that when we do, we localize the response and we're trying to create a whole body response. And so it's why it's based in the essential oils and why we do those really simple, easy things. And I love where we are right now because we can keep migration from happening. People have a resource they can constantly go back to, refresh the mindset, here's how I do it. And as they do that, the experiences that they have and the experiences that other people are gonna have with the aroma touch are just gonna become even stronger than what they've been in the past. That's super nice, super good. So Dr. Hill, how often can I receive an aroma touch all application. So how often can we do it on, on the people that we want to share some? That well, okay, I'm going to put some criteria in there. If you're giving me one, you can do it as often as you want to. You can do it for me every day if you want. I would like that. Um, how often should you actually receive an aroma touch? Uh, you know, Cesar, sometimes people have very difficult circumstances, either emotionally or physically. 
you know, it, they just have challenges. And I would like for people to think of the aroma touch not as something that I turn to only if or only when this is the circumstance that exists. It would be much better if we develop some mindset for the aroma touch to say the aroma touch is applicable always. Now we have some tolerances. And so I, I have been involved in circumstances where the aroma touch has been done every single day for someone. And it was needful and it was a necessary part of what was happening. But I think the better way, just a rule of thumb for people to look at, because we know there's gonna be exceptions on one end and on the other end. You know, one extreme, I'm gonna do it a lot. And the other extreme is I rarely do it. The real value of the aroma touch, I think is better place to look at it and say, I want consistency. The aroma touch is, it's meant to be foundational for people. Right, we're always talking about foundational things in doTERRA. We, we talk about, for example, daily use essential oils. Let's use a citrus oil every single day. Let's use frankincense every single day. Let's lose, use oils like copaiba and turmeric every single day. And we use those because they're not only involved in what helps us to have good appropriate cellular response, but because it also helps our body to be more protective and more resilient. And so we develop these daily approaches to our health. The aroma touch in my mind, Cesar, really fits into the same category, that it's not something that we say only if or only when, it should just become a part of our health routine. So for some people, that's gonna be, wow, I, I like it once a week. And other people are gonna say, I like it three times a week, where the safety and the consistency of the use of the aroma touch means that we can kind of develop what works best for us. And so my real answer to your question is consistently. Do the aroma touch consistently. When you have needs that exceed where you're capable of feeling the way that you want to feel, maybe that's the time to increase the amount of aroma touch that you're seeing and that you're doing. But consistency, just like with so many things that we talk about, is how we really build this foundational aspect of what it means to be well. And so I like it for that reason. People can find the value for where it works best for them. But if you're only going to do it sporadically, the, you're going to receive the value, you're going to receive the benefit, but you're not going to receive. Here's another way to look at it. I like the aroma touch because with those systemic constants, we really are trying to address the underlying issues. I call them systemic constants because Sessor, I don't care how much you try to manage this, you're going to experience stressful things every single day. Sometimes they're gonna be emotional stressors, sometimes they're gonna be physiological stressors. I know because of the environment that we live in, I'm gonna have pro-inflammatory responses every single day, either because of my dietary choices or because of the toxic environment that I live within, any number of different things. And I know that we live in a time where we frankly see things that surpass our body's immune capability. And that puts people at risk. And so having consistency in all of these things for me is paramount because it allows us to have greater resiliency. And that's why I really think of the aroma touch as just this foundational aspect of what we do on a regular basis to help succeed in our health. Definitely. I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, there is no any other reason. I, I'm, unfortunately, the, 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 the health system, the healthcare system that we have right now doesn't, doesn't approach that is that is special part of your of your health, which is the stress, which is the balance, the homeostasis. Uh, we don't analyze really uh, how are we are we responding with our immune system to everything that is happening, and 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 somehow, like you say, I agree with you. I mean, every single thing that happens to us promotes inflammation, and 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 somehow we see that the aroma touch application uh, of the oils it's 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 meant to try to balance of that process to create that 
that good response to inflammation to create that response to the immune system in a healthy way. So, so that's why always when people ask me, I recommend to them, you know, you should have an aroma touch. If you never tried an aroma touch, just try it once and see what, how that happens. And that's a really good way to look at it, Cesar. That's kind of how I would describe it too, that we know that we all have these challenges that occur, these insults to our, our overall wellness, I guess would be a good way to describe it. And so why not do things that we can? I, I'm asked a lot of times about the aroma touch. Well, it must solve that then. It must cure that. That's not really what's happening. It's about the body being supported in its normal, healthy processes and being resilient enough that in spite of the environments that I find myself in, then I can still have some positive and good, healthy outcomes. And so that's why I like it as this foundational piece. You know, when you do something like the Aroma Touch, when you get into good habits for supporting your metabolism and good habits for supporting your nutritional efforts in your body, we learn how to change diet and lifestyle. Think about how that, you know, all this, there's all these compounding factors that put us in these positions of having poor outcomes in terms of our health and wellness. Think about the opposite of that, that when I have these routines that I'm following and that I'm trying to implement that is based in good nutrition and all of these other elements, think about how that compounds in promoting resilience within the body so that I'm not as susceptible. I still maybe live in those environments, but I'm not as susceptible. And I'm also changing those environments, which likewise is also improving my outcome. I think we sometimes hear clever terms like lifestyle and all of these things, but we fail to make this connection more deeply that it is our best alternative and our best solution in the long term, because giving your body what it needs is really the best way that your body can respond appropriately. And so I, I don't think it needs to be simplified to the point that it's not valuable. The beauty of it is that it is simple. The beauty of the aroma touch is that it can be done and that you will receive the benefits. And I, I love the experience that people have with the aroma touch because it is an immediate thing for them, but it's also sustaining for a longer period of time. One of the research studies that we did, we showed that, that it was sustained for long periods of time, even after the aroma touch. So that's why I say continuity, regularity in approaching these things. You're thinking exactly the right way, Cesar. Super, super good. Super nice. So Dr. Hill, is Aroma Touch for everybody or is uh, it is designed for a specific age of group? Well, I would like it to be for just me only. Everybody in the world just give me an Aroma Touch. That would be perfect. <laughs> but I, this is the other thing that was really important when... And we've proved this out now over time, right? I, when I was developing the Aroma Touch, if I, I'm just going to share an experience. You know, when I, when I was first developing the Aroma Touch Sessor, it was very complicated. So much so that even when I thought it was all done, I couldn't do the Aroma Touch without reviewing my own notes. There was just too many things. With this oil... I'm going to do these specific contacts on the body. I'm going to stimulate the system by doing this movement in the body. And every oil represented something different. And I, I began to learn over time, and specifically with homeostasis, you talked about bringing the body into balance. There's rhythms that happen within the body. And this, this is an application of science and human physiology when we just have a rhythmic, smooth movement it helps to induce those senses of homeostasis. It helps body systems to balance. And then when you add that into all that we're doing with the essential oils, you can, you can begin to see why people have the experiences that they do. Well, I, the hand technique, which we've not really talked about, we've only been talking about the full aroma touch technique. I had a friend who had come to my house and I had just come into this time where I had all these complex movements with the full technique. 
But then I simplified it and said, really, I can just do a similar thing on the hand in what's known now as the hand technique. And he had twin boys who were very rambunctious. And he's, and I was talking with him and he was familiar with what I was doing. And he said, do you want to do this on one of my boys who were like two years old at the time? And they were running around like kids do. And I said, sure. So I did it on his first son who just fell asleep. He just became very relaxed and fell asleep. And so then he said, do it on my other son. <laughs> and I remember this little boy looking at me and his eyes got really wide. He looked at his brother and he said, Mm -mm. and he ran off right <laughs> so it was my first insight into that because of the oils that we had chosen that I'd been through and gone through that process because of those oils because of the application method and I knew it to be in and of itself very calming and soothing and supportive of healthy body function I I really began to realize that this wasn't just narrowed to a specific condition or a specific circumstance. And that's why the systemic constants become so important. One of my favorite things is to see a parent or hear of their experiences of doing this for their younger children. You know, they, they have the same challenges that we do. We typically don't think of that. They live in the same environment we do. They have the same stressors that we do. They, they maybe are packaged differently. I'm worried about how I'm gonna feed my family. Well, they're worried about, are they gonna have a friend at recess tomorrow, right? It, it affects the body the same. There is no differentiator that says, my stress has a worse effect on my body than yours does. Stress is stress, you know that cascade. The end result, regardless of why the stress is happening, is, is the same. And because of the technique itself, the way that it's delivered and the oils that we're using, it is for everybody. And that's beneficial because we all experience the same things, even though the source of that experience can be very different for all of us. And so yes. I like this. I like this that the aroma touch is something that me as a parent. I can. I had an experience with my own son. He was, he was going to be away from us for a few years, and it was very stressful for us as a family, and very stressful for him. And I remember the morning that he was going to leave. It was a very busy morning, and we're making sure that he had everything that he needed. And I remember he just came to me quietly. He was 18 years old at the time, and he said, "Dad." Do you think we have time that you could give me an aroma touch? And I thought about that. And I was like, of course, absolutely, son, I'd love to. And he and I went to a quiet place in our home and I set up a table and it was just he and I. And you would think that the outcome of that was one that was significant for him. And it was. It really was. I, I It was amazing to me that one of the acts of service that he wanted me to provide for him before he left was, can you give me an aroma touch? And so he wasn't physically having some big problem that he was dealing with, but it gave us this really strong and powerful connection. And what it did for me as a father was I felt like I was helping my son in a very unique way. And, and I was connected with him and that we had an understanding between us that I was fortifying him. And he likewise was doing the exact same thing for me. And I've loved that about the aroma touch that we can take circumstances within our family or those who are close to us and whether they're young or small, whether they're at the end of life or in the middle stages of life, we can still have powerful effect and opportunity for them. And I think that's what's remarkable about the aroma touch. It is for everybody and anybody can do it. Likewise, my young son, when he was 10 or 12, gave somebody asked me earlier today what one of my favorite experiences with the aroma touch was. It's when my son, who, by the way, when I started teaching the aroma touch and going around and traveling, he came with me. He was my demo model. <laughs> so he had learned, even at a very young age, he was, 
I think, uh, how old is he now? He's 24, almost 25. So he at that time would have been, when I first started, 12, somewhere in there, maybe 11, 10, somewhere. Yeah. So I would take him with me and I would use him as my demo for doing the aroma touch when I was teaching. And I had come home and it had been particularly challenging. And he said, he, I, he led me downstairs to my office in our home and he tapped on the table and said, hop up here, dad, I know exactly what you need. And he, he gave me his version of an aroma touch. That's powerful. That's powerful. I think that's one of the unspoken things about why the aroma touch is meant for everybody, not just some or just particular issues or circumstances. It's something that will benefit everyone regardless of where they find themselves. That's amazing. Talking to you is incredible, Dr. Hill. So you delivered too, too much information all the time. <laughs> well, <in laughs> case, if, if you want clarity, can I, can I sum it up for you? Do the no, aroma. No, 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 you're doing perfect. Do the aroma not that's the message the, the, here is that no, take that, advantage that, of this. That's, that's super, super good. I mean, I think people is, is reacting, I mean, amazingly. I mean, the people love everything that you are saying. And, and unfortunately, the time is killing us. I mean, uh, but, but it's, it's good. I, time, aren't we? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I, I have, I have uh, two more questions that are going to be very important for or our community. First question is um, about the coaches that are already being certified to apply the Aroma Touch. I yeah. mean, we do have some coaches in Mexico and also in Costa Rica. Yeah, I've, done, really I've actually done lots of trainings there, and I know that we have wonderful individuals who were a part of our training program there in Mexico. Yeah. What, what will uh, be the, the, the role that they be, will be going forward? You know, I'm actually really glad you asked this question because this was so Jordan, who everybody knows and loves had, you know, we were struggling a little bit with the aroma touch, uh, not because it wasn't effective. It was nothing to do with the technique and everything to do with that. It had become worldwide and we had trainers all over the world. I, I have a deep sense of gratitude for everyone who has participated with us in the Aroma Touch, especially our trainers. Uh, always was enjoyable for me to bring new people into that process of being certified as a trainer and then work, working with our existing trainers and helping them to continue to progress and do what they wanted to do with the aroma touch that that was a real significant part of our history and i think it was foundational for helping us to build to where we are today so we thought a lot about and as jordan came to me and we started having some of this discussion about what if we transitioned this because we were concerned that the aroma touch is meant for everybody but our limitation was you have to go to a class. So you either had to find one of our trainers or you had to come to one that we were offering. And the exposure of Aroma Touch was really limiting. We, we did statistically an analysis and of all the people in doTERRA, 98% of them had never experienced or had any opportunity with Aroma Touch. That's, that's rather alarming for something that's so powerful. And so I recognize that we had this strong group of people that were committed, but as Jordan came with this idea of creating this online version, that was part of the pushback initially is that, what do we do with all of the circumstance that we've already created? Now we know as we've gone through that process that our existing trainers play a really special role in this whole process they still are fully qualified to mentor and teach and share, but now they get to do it within a different framework, a framework of having full access to our compensation plan. This is, I mean, they get the Aroma Touch kit now is in a full PV model. It's the only kit we have that is full PV in the entire company. And that's not insignificant. And so the same opportunity exists for them that exists for everybody else that now gets involved with the Aroma Touch. 
And in fact, they have a greater advantage in my mind because they're already so well established with the aroma touch. You mentioned earlier that this is a great model of introduction. And I have agreed with that. And this now allows them to act in a role of introducing people to the essential oils rather than teaching a class. The best outcome for them is to continue to teach classes. And although the modeling has changed, I think the best outcome is that they can use this as a way to introduce people and bring them into their organizations within doTERRA. I know that some people probably feel that I'm losing out on something, I'm missing out on something. And I can understand why maybe they would feel that way. But I think it's primarily because they have not yet fully realized the opportunity that lies in front of them by doing it differently than how we've done it in the past. But I would never want anybody to think that it's not because we didn't appreciate them. I, we love them. I, we've had people participate with us all over the entire world. And the biggest area of consternation for us has been making phone calls and talking with people and helping them to understand how we feel about them, but that we need to make this change for the good of having everyone to have access to the aroma touch. And we've seen that. I'll give you a good example where we're getting ready to launch the aroma touch in Australia. And just in the last two and a half weeks, we've had, as people have gone out and said, okay, I'm going to use the aroma touch as a model of introduction to doTERRA. We've had over 700 people, right, Jordan? Jordan's here with me. <laughs> Everyone want to say hi to Jordan? Hi. <laughs> Don't we just love Jordan? I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, the aroma touch would not be what it is without Jordan being involved with us. And so I'm really grateful that she's here and she's just involved in all of these wonderful things. We've had more than 700 people in the last two and a half weeks join doTERRA, new signups, just by saying, I'm going to use the Aroma Touch as a way to introduce more people to the value of essential oils. It's a gateway. And not only do they likewise now can use the Aroma Touch in their own families and all the benefits that we've talked about, but they're now exploring the value of essential oils and all that doTERRA has to offer. So my heart goes out to if we have some trainers who are feeling poorly, but please don't. This is, if we can just get a hold of what this will represent and what this can do in magnifying your reach to people and giving more people the opportunity to understand what they already do, then it becomes much easier just to move forward and embrace and do everything that we're doing. That's incredible. So last question, Dr. Hill. It's a, what's your advice for one, one person to complete the course? How do you graduate from a digital experience to applying the technique to a person in real life? Do you have any suggestion of making this transition successful? On how somebody, I want to be sure I understand your question, Cesar, on how somebody can share the aroma touch and have it transition into them being involved in doTERRA? Is that more of what you're asking? For, for, for all the people that are going to be taking the online training. Uh -huh. So how they transition to a real life with the oh, real I got you. What is I, your advice? I, I understand now. Yeah. Sorry. You've had me answering questions for almost an hour, Cesar. You're lucky I'm even <laughs> cognitive at yeah. all at this point. We have only three more minutes. <laughs> Um, this is a really good question, and we actually have this conversation all the time. Um, there is this opportunity now, okay, so I've learned it online, but taking it from that online experience to now I'm actually doing the aroma touches, and is that developing the way that it should, and am I really doing it correctly? Well, I have two ways to answer that. So first, is that one of the values of the Aroma Touch training is that we do have a module within the training that is just a follow along model. It's not me talking, it's nobody giving dissertation, it's we're just going to do an Aroma Touch now and we go from start to finish and we do it at a very easy pace to follow so that that can be playing for them and they can just keep pace with 
and they can have more and more confidence as they do that. One of the great things about the aroma touch is that your confidence builds quickly as you start to do it. But as you're first learning, and okay, I've taken the course, I kind of understand the value and benefit, <clears throat> but transitioning to, I really feel like I'm an expert and I'm doing it the way that is appropriate and I really am having powerful experiences with people, that takes a little bit of practice. And so that's one method that they can take advantage of is that we'll do it with them. You know, we'll do it virtually with them as they're in that process to learn more fully. The other is, is that we have no intention of abandoning the opportunity that we have with people to fine tune their experience. So for example, we're just launching the Aroma Touch in Canada. We're just launching the Aroma Touch in Australia. Uh, then we go to Taiwan, then we go to Korea, then we're going to Japan, then we go to Brazil. And part of our methodology is that we'll come and we'll help people fine tune. So there'll still be some larger events from time to time that they can come. And there is just something that's a little bit magical about coming to one of those events. But then also we have opportunity that, and you know this, and so does Israim, that we're going to have some localized experts in office and people who are also a great resource who are going to be happy to help. And when we have questions, there's resources for you to turn to, and we're happy to just stay very involved with people. I think the combination of those things together really over time will help people to have confidence. And it, when I say it takes a little bit of time to develop that, it, it does but make a commitment that I'm gonna go ahead and do five aroma touches after I take the aroma touch course. I'm gonna ask some of my friends to let me do this and learn until you feel comfortable. And then it just becomes a natural and easy process. But there's lots of resources that people will be able to turn to. We're certainly gonna do that in the markets who are joining us today around the world you're going to be an instrumental part of that, as you know, and I'm deeply grateful for that. Uh, we just, I'm just over the years, as I've gotten to know you, you're just, you're an anchor point for doTERRA. You really are, Cesar. And I know that you have a great love and, and belief in the aroma touch. And uh, Jordan has tremendous amounts of ability that she can lend to that with you as well. And so people are going to have lots of resources to turn to. And I think the most important thing, Dr. Hill, is this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Well, that's a good way to look at it, too. Yeah, yeah. this is just the beginning. This isn't that, okay, we gave it to you, and there you go. I mean, if you had to live my life, you'd have to have Jordan in your ear all the time saying, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? <laughs> Dr. Hill, guess what we could do? Oh, my gosh, we haven't done this yet. We should go do this. And yeah. that's what I love about where we're at right now. And I, you could not have said it better. We're, we're in the beginning. We're not at the end. This isn't the deliverable. This was the doorway we walked through for all of the good things to come in the future. Right, Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna no, say. No, that's true, that's true. This is just the beginning. Power. This oh, is sorry. just the beginning. I was just gonna say that we have lots of PowerPoints that we'll be able to share with you so that you guys can teach demo classes of the Aroma Touch. We'll give you PowerPoints to teach about the hand technique. We'll give you as many materials as possible to make you feel empowered to be able to share what you know. The other thing I would say is that the power of social media and getting people excited about what you've just learned, that's huge. Getting on and saying, hey, I need to practice on 20 people, 30 people, 50 people, and whoever reaches out, I'd love to practice on you and share this experience. That's a really profound thing. One of our um, gals in Australia, she's a brand new member. She just started a few months ago and decided that she wanted to start sharing Aroma Touch with others. She's already performed the Aroma Touch on two random strangers she had never met before because she had reached out on social media. And those two people engaged with her in doTERRA and signed up with her in doTERRA because of that amazing experience that she shared with them. And she has 30 more lined up because she just reached out to her community and said, I'm ready to share what I know. And so just don't feel scared. Don't feel nervous to share what you have learned. It is going to be a powerful experience, even if it's the very first one that you give. Yeah, I just want to take these this two seconds 
to show a little bit of the information that we have to share with the whole markets. So sure. we are so excited that we have to offer to all our Latin American markets uh, after February 1st, uh, the, the online training of Aroma Touch. So that is going to be very, very important for every everyone that is it's a, it's part of doTERRA and for the people that are not part of doTERRA yet, but they would like to start having this beautiful experience, how to share and how to create experience with the essential oils. So just, uh, uh, just for everybody to know, just keep in touch with your every single country, your markets. So you're going to see the, the different offer that they have. We have the kit plus the training. We have only the training and we have also, also only the kit. So we are offering also a 50% discount during the first 30 days. So please keep in touch with your markets, with your uh, general managers, with all people that you have in your different markets. And that way, uh, you're going to be able to be part of this beautiful Aroma Touch community. Dr. Hill, thank you so very much for making this time. Can I just it's say one more time. thing? Yes, of course. Sir. One more thing. I just, I was listening to you and I was listening to Jordan and I think I would just summarize it by saying we, we can't experience what we don't do. And so it really is the key. Just go out and do that. That's let the experience stand for itself. So it's been my pleasure to be with you. We, we, we love all of you. I, I, I say that I, I know I don't know most of you. I've never met you, but I hope that I get to. And as we come to your areas and as we're there, please come and interact with us. And thank you, Cesar, and everybody for all the great work that you do. We're looking forward to great things in the future. Thank you so very much. And thank you to everybody to being in this meeting. Thank Good you, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.